I love being a mum. Love it, love it, love it. My children are Thomas, who's 16, and Chloe, who's 14. The best thing about being a dad is watching your children grow up and becoming, you know, young adults. It's just been a really inspirational time, I think, you know, it's been great. With Chloe and anxiety, it started basically probably at preschool. We'd have to stand in line with her and wait until school and she'd cry and so forth. But yeah, so it's been a battle for the last nine years. Um, you know, there's days that you don't even want to look in the rear vision mirror when you're driving away. It's really tough. Watching Chloe go through what she goes through and me being her mum, I just want to protect her. That's my first instinct. We've tried everything. It's in, it's in here and it's not something that you can put a band-aid on, you know. It's, it's not like that, you know. It's just something that we have to deal with day to day. I like to fix everything and um, for me not being able to fix it is so hard. Children's mental health, it's, it's a bit of a taboo, so to speak. You know, no one wants to talk about it, but it's something that needs to be talked about. I felt like no one else was going through what we were going through and I didn't think there was support out there for me. I thought it was something that I had to just go through on my own. Having something that's available 24 hours a day when things start to get to me, it's in the middle of the night. To get online and say, it's finally quiet time, the kids are asleep, that's fantastic. So my advice to parents going through similar issues would be to not to be afraid to ask questions. Don't take the first solution that's given to you because it may not be the best one. The thing I like about Reach Out is that they've, they've looked at other options. So they've been doing a youth program for a long time, but now they've broadened it to a parent program. What it means for parents is that they'll have a forum. They'll have somewhere to ask questions. Asking for help is a great thing. It's, it's, it's so empowering when somebody actually can give you some help. What we can do is just be empathetic to the parents and just say, you know, you've got someone to talk to. You've got a voice. It's nice to have a voice.